All right, what is going on, bros? It is Insomnia from the Mexican Gamers channel. Back again with some more Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. To be honest with you guys, this gameplay really isn't going to be all that great. Um, this was really early, around probably like the first day of release from Modern Warfare 3. It's something that I had just stored up. I wouldn't, I wouldn't normally post this, but since I'm going to kind of tell you guys a story or, you know, share some feelings with you guys and... Uh, you know, I, I just whatever. It's the gameplay is whatever. It's it's irrelevant, <laughs> so don't don't you don't really have to pay attention to it. But yeah, I just want you guys to listen to my little story yeah, that I'm, I'm going to tell you guys here shortly. So um, you know, a couple of months ago we bought uh, this German Shepherd. It was a purebred German Shepherd. We bought it in Mexico for fifty bucks, so it was actually a Mexican German Shepherd. And you know, it was really really nice. He was black. He had some, you know, under his tummy and like his chest there, he had brown spots. He he, he had brown there. His his paws behind, you know, behind his legs, they were they were brown. So he it was it was a nice little mix of black brown. And we bought him when he was around a month old. So you know, he was still a little puppy. And uh, yeah, so we bought him when he was about a month and a half old, I believe. And we just had him there. We were raising him. You know, his name we named him Ram. Awesome. German Shepherds are... are I, I love German Shepherds, man. I I used I had a friend, or I have a friend that used to have a German Shepherd, but unfortunately he died. But that German Shepherd was super strong and super, super smart. So German Shepherds are, are really, really smart and, and they're strong. And I just I just love the way they look. They're, they're awesome. Which is why the U.S. Customs or, the, you know, the U.S. government uses them for their... As their, you know, canine unit or whatever. So, yeah, they're, they're smart and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that's why we wanted one. So we, my dad bought one in Mexico from one of his friends, and uh, he bought it for fifty bucks. So, yeah, we named him Ram. He was an awesome, awesome little dog. And uh, you know, unfortunately, when he was around a couple of weeks ago, it was around three weeks ago. Um, you know, he gets stolen. Now, uh, you know, he gets stolen. And I'm at work, right? I'm at work, and my mom sends me a text message telling me that you know the dog got stolen, and I. I, I mean, my my heart dropped, man. Like seriously, I was at work and I, I had just started work. It was my like my first week. I think it was my second day of work. So you know, you're trying to you're trying your best at work. You know, trying to trying to prove that you actually deserve the job. And you know, that kind of got me out of my game. You know what I mean? That kind of you know threw me off because, um, I don't I love the the dog already. Like I had already become detached. And that's the thing with pets, man. I become attached so quick. But yeah, anyways. Uh, so she texts me that the dog got stolen. So after I get out of work, I call her. And I'm like, what happened? The dog got stolen. And she's like, yes, but um, we got it back. And so I'm like, oh, okay, right away. Like, I just felt relieved right away because I had this knot in my my throat, man, that I just, I had so much, like, anger and, and stuff. But she says that they got it back, so I felt relieved. And I asked her, how did you get it back? So the dog, we had taken it to the vet in Mexico because here it's pretty expensive here in the United States. It's pretty expensive, you know, so we took it to Mexico and it's not cheap there either, but it's cheaper than here. So, I mean, you know, it got vaccinated. We're actually taking care of this dog a lot. Um, and, you know, in the vet over there in Mexico, they gave him a little tag for for his collar and it had his name, which was Ram. And then in the back of the tag, it had my brother's phone number, the phone number in case he got lost or something like that. So um, they called my brother's phone number since he had it in the tag and it was some asshole. It was some dude. He was around, uh, my brother described him around being like 21 years old around there. And the dude, he texts, he, he called my brother and he says, hey, I found your dog. Um, but fucking dumbass, man. I'm sorry, excuse my language, but fucking dumbass. He calls, he, he calls my brother saying that he found our dog. He found the dog, you know, walking randomly, you know, in the street by his house. And his house, it's kind of close to my house, but the the dude, like, it, it, the dog wouldn't never, he, the dog would never leave. Like, he would never leave. And he says that he, he found the dog by his house, which, you know, it's not that far if you go on car. But if you go walking or for a dog to go that far, it's far. So, I mean, it, that's fucking bullshit. The, he fucking stole it. And <laughs> I'm sorry for cussing so much, but it just pisses me off. And this was, like I said, this was like three weeks ago. But I just didn't want to talk about it at that time. But the dumbass says that he found the dog or whatever. So, whatever. He... My brother says, well, I, I want him back. Where can I meet you? Whatever, whatever. So my brother goes and meets him at the dude's house. Um, and, you know, he the dude asks for money. He wants money so he can give us a dog back because he found it. So he wants some sort of reward for it. That's fucking dipshit. Um, but my brother gives him, so whatever. My brother, they only give him $10. $10. He fucking, I'm, I'm sure he stole it. We see, But he stole it. But, no, he went, my, my brother went my, my, with my dad. My brother's 16 years old. He's probably around 5'11", 
185 pounds. I told him. I got pissed. And I was like, dude, you should have whooped his ass. I was so angry at this guy that he steals, you know, our dog. And then he gets rewarded for it. It, it pissed me off. But whatever. And uh, and then, you know, so we got the dog back. Cool stuff. And, and we started taking care of it. Not that we wouldn't take care of it. But we started putting it inside a little bit more. And and uh, so he wouldn't get stolen against. But one day... You know, a couple of days passed. I think it was around three days after the dog had gotten stolen. So we leave him outside. I go to school. We, I mean, because dogs, he, this dog was starting to get big. He was around three months already. So he was starting to get big. We really couldn't have him inside. So we put him outside, right? And he's not tied up. We really don't like to have dogs tied up, but oh well. Um, but he gets stolen again. And uh, I get another another text from my mom at work. And again, I'm, I get pissed off. You know, I get pissed off. And this time, I'm, I'm like, this motherfucker stole him again. You know what I mean? So, the dog gets stolen again, and uh, this time, we, we can't get it back. I mean, I, my my brother calls as a dude, and the dude doesn't answer. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I, I passed by the dude's house because, you know, that, that one time, the first time that he had stolen him, he, uh, you know, he we went, to his, we went to his house to get him back. Now, this time, I passed by again, and uh, I, I, you know, to... To see if the dog was there, and it wasn't. I mean, he, the dude fucking sold sold it or something. But I, I mean, I'm I I kind of feel like it was him. I'm, I'm more than sure that it was kind of it was him. And uh, you know, it's just it's fucking ah oh, man. It's people like that. I mean, I don't know how people aren't ashamed of stealing from. You know, if you're gonna fucking steal from somewhere, steal from Walmart, steal from stores like that. But why would you steal from you know another person, from a neighbor, and a dog, dude? Like the fuck is wrong with you like dipshit scum of the earth like that that are good for nothing my brother said that the first time when they stole it when you know my brother went to go get the dog back the dude was just he could barely understand him because the dude was that high you know the dude was just high out of his mind and he had some other of his friends there and they were all drugged up like just good for nothing pieces of shit and you know I, you know what angers me is not you know the money we we put into the dog because we did put in a lot of money into the dog you know getting him vaccinated and stuff like that buying stuff for him buying food and stuff but what what really pisses me off is that you know i i had already become attached to the dog it's it was like they took a friend from me and i it might be exaggerating but i had honestly gotten attached to the dog think about your dog if you have a dog that you had it for a little while and and then all of a sudden he's just not there anymore and you kind of know who took it and you know you just you're left with so much anger and i wanted to go to the guy's house and beat the fuck out of him and uh i'm i'm pretty sure that i could but you know uh i just angry you could do a lot of things man believe me you you go into this rage mode where you don't care and you just tear shit up but you know today this was like i said this was like three weeks ago when they stole him and we didn't get him back Today, I was coming home from school, and uh, I passed by the dude's house. I was like, hey, I'm going to pass by his house. I usually don't have to pass by his house to get to my house. But I passed by the dude's house, and, you know, I look. I kind of, like, slow down and look. Um, I don't see the dog there. But then I go, a little, you know, some feet forward, and the house next to that dude's, I see this German Shepherd, which was black with brown, around that looked similar to, to ours, to mine. Um, and... You know, I, I just stare at him, and the, the, I roll down the window, and I, the dog just stares at me, and I call his name Ram, and then, like, he just, like, barks and, like, runs away, but, you know, I don't, I don't know, I, like, I, I, there was this, like, feelings that I got that I just wanted to run and take the dog, but then I really looked at him right, and I don't think it was our dog, because he was small, he was, the dog that I saw was a little bit chubbier, and he was smaller. Um, and you know, I guess they could have gotten him chubbier if they fed him a lot, but not smaller. The dog, our dog, was already growing a little bit more uh, because he was already like three months and a half when they stole him. And uh, you know, this dog was smaller, so Ram by now would have been a little bit bigger, even. So I don't, I don't believe that was our dog. But you know, I started, you know, when they initially stole him, I started like orchestrating this, this like plan of revenge in my head and <laughs> it sounds kind of funny but i just started like now i'm not gonna go to the house, guy's house and kill him or anything like that but i just started orchestrating like, what can i do to get back at this guy and if he didn't take the dog the second time he should get punished for taking him the first time and uh you know i i, I don't know like I, I just started my my brain works that way like it's, i guess it's human nature or something but i just started orchestrating um a, a plan of revenge and you know how they say in the modern warfare series 
Makarov, he says, revenge is like a ghost. It takes over every man it touches. And that that's that's true, man. Like, I, I initially, like, started, like, okay, what am I going to do to get back at this motherfucker? Because I was pissed, man. And, you know, I probably won't end up doing much. Maybe, you know, going to the guy's house with some high-powered airsoft guns and maybe lighting him up. But, uh, no, probably, that probably won't happen. Because the guy lives next to the woods. I'm kind of like next to, to some woods, so you can, I could lay there for in the in a ghillie suit for a couple of hours, wait for him to come home, and then just light him up with some airsoft guns. But yeah, the airsoft guns will hurt. Um, some high-powered airsoft guns, but now nah, I, I doubt okay, I'll do anything. But yeah, I just wanted to share the story with you guys. I was I was kind of pissed off. I kind of wanted to get off my chest because I don't want to talk about it when it initially happened. Like I said, I feel like they took a friend from me, and. Um, yeah, I, I love that dog, but hopefully, if they sold them, they sold them to someone that, um, you know, that will take care of them, that will feed them, and that will play with them, because dogs need love, man. And yeah, that's all I would really ask for it, for, for you know, for the dog not to suffer. That's all I want. But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. <laughs> I'm sorry for cussing a lot, but I was pretty pissed off, and uh, yeah. Oh, man, oh, that felt good. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out. <laughs> Pinche pendejo, güey.